Wow. YouTube. Let me just say, I am very humbled right now. And I needed to do this video to bring up something very, very important. Something that I feel is very, very important to the ongoing health and longevity of, of this comic book community and to us as fans in this comic book community. Now, I just did this video that you guys see on screen about the uh, controversy, controversy over Marvel's uh, new New Mutant character, specifically of the non-binary character uh, Snowflake and, and, and Safe Space. So, obviously, as you guys can see, I uh, posted this yesterday. It's got a lot of thumbs down already. I think I already lost a couple subscribers, uh, which is laughable. It's, it's fine that you guys want to disagree with me, and it pushes you so far over the edge that you have to unsubscribe. Uh, but I express the fact that I think overall there is uh, nothing wrong, obviously, with representing different uh, parts of reality and different people within a, a, a real uh within the real context of, of community and that includes lgbt people it includes more modern young people that you know us young readers or young readers of comic books can identify with um minorities women uh people with different uh body identities you know uh they don't have to be super skinny or fit and in shape to be super powered all these things that i talked about but i want to address how whether or not, because th these are things where people bring their politics in, in, into this kind of stuff, right? But I wanted to address at the top of your screen here, and I'm going to put the lo uh, logician uh, on blast, but in a good way. So big shout outs to, to this kid. He's 18 years old, the logician. And he comments here on my post with some, you know, uh, uh, skepticism surrounding the, the the validity of these characters, why these characters might be problematic and so forth. And let's just read along. So he, he goes on to say here, my problems with the new warriors. He talks about the internet gas being silly and I'm going to agree with him right off the bat. Uh, talks about Trailblazer having a magic pack pack. Uh, but he, when he talks about Snowflake, he says Snowflake is a caricature of a non-binary person. The first non-binary character they make is called Snowflake. And has crazy hair, which is also a stereotype. Then he goes on to say, I hate the designs, which I do too. I think the art is crappy, but that's just my personal opinion. I believe comics should reflect the real world. It's very important, but this may be just a lazy attempt at doing so. And hey, I'm a DC fan, so it doesn't really matter to me regardless. So, uh, And he goes on to say some more things here about, I think the look is kind of bit, uh, a bit lazy. Maybe it's pandering and they're just out of touch and they don't really understand the youth. Um... And the bottom line why I'm sharing this is because now I, I may not dis, I may not agree with this individual 100%, but this is an 18-year-old kid that came on to YouTube, watched my video, and commented projecting himself with first and foremost respect, but with logic and with reason. He didn't attack me. He didn't attack LGBT people. He didn't attack anybody. He didn't attack liberals or conservatives or yada, yada, yada. He was respectful and communicated clearly to make me read everything that he typed and say, hey, these are amazing points to ponder. And then I responded back and said, well, you know, where I said, first off, I, I, I said, I appreciate how you came at me, the, the respect, the ability to communicate. And then I kind of address everything he said. Um, I said, when it comes to Trailblazer and his magical pack back seeming silly, a lot of comic book elements can seem, seem silly. But let's see it in context of a story. Let's see how it works out, right? Okay. Now, with uh, the number three point of him speaking specifically to the kind of uh, stereotypical uh snowflake in in safe space i do say i don't know if i agree with you 100 percent, but you bring up something very important this is why i said i support the non-binary character and i understand why they are trying to use a derogatory term like snowflake to flip it on the quote-unquote haters but it does like you say undermine the heart of the character i never will agree with taking a slap in the face and then responding by throwing another slap back in their face you know like an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind kind of a thing i think that uh, they may have good intentions, but using the name Snowflake and, snake play, and Safe Space is a bit antagonistic. 
and could indeed take away from the validity of the characters being non-binary themselves. So it's like, let's let's represent LGBT people in comic books, but why antagonize the haters? The, the ha people that are so fixated on hating these things are antagonistic in nature in the first place. So why stoop to that level? Let's let's be more genuine. And I think, you know, when you look into this and what the logician is saying, he's like, let's let's not stereotypically make dye their hair blue and call them snowflake. Like let's let's give them a name like a standard superhero name, like a sleepwalker or you know a, a night crawler or something, and just have that person be, hey, look, I'm non-binary or I'm LGBT or w whatever it may be. You know, um, so, and then I responded again saying, well, you know, the, the term pandering, I don't, I don't really like it that much, but um, I, I honestly think that people have good intentions. I don't think that some conspiracy theory and they're pandering saying like, oh, we're going to purposely do this because the bottom line, these big publishers, they want to make money still, but it could be that maybe these, these writers or artists have good intentions, but they are fully culturally aware of how to represent these characters properly. Um, and, and maybe, like I said, you know, that, that saying the path to hell is paved with good intentions. So, you know, again, guys, this is where, you know, and like I said, all the thumbs down and losing subscribers over this stuff, please guys, come on. This is an 18 year old kid that's showing more maturity than over half of you middle-aged men. I mean, seriously here, let's, let's take a lesson out of the logician's book and learn how to approach these things with respect, with class, with dignity, and with well thought out uh, uh, argumentation. I mean, this is great. I love this. And I'm not one that's going to sit here and be like, well, screw you, logician. You know, uh, you're, you're racist. <laughs> you have problems with this. That just means you're racist. And I even asked the logician, I said, well, lay, it, it, you being lazy, you jump into these things without like reading the stories. Or, do you have an issue with LGBT characters being represented. Can you kind of dive more into that? And he answered those things. So again, guys, this is what I like to see. This is why I post these things. Um, we, we, we need to learn a lesson from this 18 year old young man. And, and I just, I salute him right now and why we are all kind of living through this tumultuous time, man. Let's stop bickering and let's start you know, communicating is, is community members and, and, and come on. I love this. Let's keep up conversations like this. I appreciate you all. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching again. And I would love to hear some more comments on this video. Let me know what you guys thought of my original video. If you guys watched that and then just let me know what you guys think of this and, and Hey, you like, let's put the egos aside. Let's put our differences aside and just try to be respectful. Even if we disagree, we don't have to agree all the time. But just because we don't agree doesn't mean we can't respect each other and still be part of a family. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave some comments below. Please subscribe if you have not done so yet. And until next time.